Well, Mama, what's the problem? Your Highness, I'm not happy about what is going on. Ezenia has refused to eat anything for five days now. He has not eaten anything. I don't know why he's starving himself. Your what? Highness, please do something. Did you say five days? Five good days, Your Highness. That boy might kill himself. All right. <clears throat> I'll do something about it. Yeah, well, don't worry. Thank you, Your Highness. Mm -hmm. Five days. Five days. Ah, you're welcome. I'm sorry to keep you with me. Hello. I was here in the morning. I met your absence. I hope all is well. I'm sorry. I went to the palace to see the Igwe concerning what the prince came to ask me. Yeah, in my house. Princess Enya? In my house. Came to your house here. Yeah. I was surprised. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Wonder shall never end. I was surprised. <laughs> I wonder why the Igwe refuses Princess Enya from associating with the people. Eh? He came here to ask me about a day old baby boy that was kidnapped in this community from a Panwai Tapa 25 years ago. The abduction was done on Kwa Market Day. I wonder where and how he got the information. A day old baby boy. Yeah. Abducted from a Panwai Tapa. Eh, yeah. 25 years ago. Eh, yeah. From this Umumbo village. On an Kwa Market Day. Kwa Market Day. That was the exact year the prince was born. 25 years ago. You are right, Eluka. You are right. You are right, Eluka. But, ah. no, the other issue there that confuses me now is the abduction. I don't understand it very well. Because such an incident never took place on this land. It never happened. We've not experienced such a normal war. But something must have prompted Prince Ezenia's curiosity to ask you such a question. You know how learned that boy is? Of course, of course. I can't understand you. Ichi Eloka, I cannot understand. 25 years ago, a day old baby boy abducted from a pan wine table. Years ago, on an open market day, and the prince is going about demanding for that same baby. Something is fishy. Something is fishy. Yes, the same year and the same open market day, the prince was born. Oh, I can't. I can't really find this. Come, come, come. Wait, 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 wait. And then. Did that Soba say the baby was abducted from a pan wine tapa? Ah. No, I won't believe it. No, it can't be the first baby. No, no, no. No. There are other pan wine tapas in Omongwa town. Yes. You know what I mean? Besides, the first baby died immediately after childbirth. Uh -huh. Can't believe it. It can't be the first baby. Aye. What am I even thinking? Why am I even bothering myself about this? Uh oh, I've crossed where I'm going. Hi! <laughs> hey! You're more than a nature, Kalelia. In life. Ezenia, what is the problem? Why have you been staying indoors and lying down without eating? Why must you starve yourself like this? Huh? What is the problem? All right, there is something I'd like to discuss with you. But that will be after you would have eaten your meal. 
Now eat and let's talk afterwards. I am not interested, Your Highness. What? I can stay like this forever. It concerns no one. I am not going to taste anything until I get a satisfying answer to the question I asked you. And I must be told why that man's house was burnt down and the entire household got missing, even up to now. Isn't here you addressed me with such a tone? Your father? Don't give me the impression that you don't even qualify to be referred to as my son. What haven't I done for you? Every single thing you wanted I have provided for you. Now you sit down here and address me as though I am a total stranger to you. Oh my God. Listen to me, son. I have done... My king. Dad, what is it? My king. Mm. My king. Dad, what is it? Dad. Take, take me to my room. Please, I'm sorry. Please, open the door. Please, I'm so sorry. Sorry, I'm so sorry, Dad. Please, please, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So, how long has he been in this state? About an hour ago. He is very lucky. His blood pressure is high. But you come with me, so I'll give you some drugs to stabilize him till I come tomorrow morning to check on him. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. Um, madams. You don't need to worry. He is going to be fine. He shouldn't be disturbed. All right. My sisters, my mind can never be at rest until I know everything about that a day old baby boy. Isn't it? Don't you think you're taking this issue too far? Adeze, you don't have to blame me. Father is the one prolonging the issue. He has a skeleton in his cupboard and that is why he doesn't want me to talk about this. I also remember the way he reacted the day we met the Pamwine Tapa on the road. Uh -uh, Isn't it? Okay, even if dad has refused to tell you anything about the stolen baby boy, it's not enough reason to starve yourself, eh? Look at you! I would have come on since because of this, but I was writing my exams. Chama, there is no need to come home because I'm starving myself. Zenia, let me ask you a question. What are you trying to say? I mean, what are you insinuating? Actually nothing. In fact, I don't know. See, something urges me to know the truth about that story. Oh, really? Now listen to me and listen very carefully. The life of our father is in your hands. And if anything, I mean, anything happens to him, trust me, I will tell the entire community that you are responsible for it. What in God's name is wrong with you? Don't raise your voice on me, Adesi. And if I raise my voice on you, what will you do? No, tell me. What will you do? Look at you. You should be grateful that you are the prince of this land. Oh, saints. Please, please. 
Leave, I want to be alone. Just go. Just know that you're hurting twisted and it will remain so. If you must twist the truth, it must definitely unwind itself. If we tell us the truth, tell us the truth or you cease to be our king. Yes. yes. You talk to me like that? Are you mad? Why you give us you we can't continue to be food forever? Why you give us you? Who are you? Why are you mad? That's why I'm famous. That's all. for nothing. What is the problem? I bring you a message from the gods. A person who goes searching for food in the night does not know that his footprints will be seen at daybreak. The gods are angry with you. Igwe. Whatever the gods have destined, no man can change. Igwe, you are warned to terminate your plans concerning the kingship of this community and follow the wishes of the gods. You will. The gods are watching. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. This is the third time I am having this time there. 
since there's a most visit. Loud noise coming from your room. I went there and didn't see you. What is it? I had a terrible nightmare. I narrowly escaped death. Your Highness, I think it's about time we told us and the truth. What about the palm wine tapper? I honestly don't believe he is dead. I'm about to lose everything I worked for, can't you see? I can't stand the shame. I can't stand the shame. I am traveling back to Lagos. From there, I will go back to Europe. I will stay there until you people are ready to talk. You are not going anywhere. Meanwhile, your father wants to see you. Come to the city. I want you to go to Chia's Oba's house. Tell him I want to see all the elders tomorrow in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. uh, tell him it's mandatory. Every member of my cabinet is expected to be here. Right. Uh, one more thing. You are also expected to be at that meeting. Don't forget. have warned me again. I don't want to die a shameful death. I welcome all of you. I summon this meeting. The 
because there is something very important that I want to tell you. It involves the prince. That's why I asked him to come in and sit with us. It's about what happened some 30 years ago that began with the mysterious death of my son, Omekago. You all remember. After his death, a few more sons were born in the palace. And again, they all died mysteriously. We had series of meetings to discuss these uh, incessant deaths. The last time we met, the last time we met, I told you people I was going to handle the situation. I did, without letting you know. Now this is what happened. <laughs> There's a more you're welcome. Thank you, Your Highness. I sent for you. Um each time a son is born to me in this palace, he dies mysteriously, immediately after birth. Not once, not twice, not three times. What is responsible for this? This is why I sent for you. At the eye of the gods, you should be able to tell me what is happening in my palace. That's why I sent for you. Hmm. I I Something happened in the days of your father. A daughter of this community, Mwada, was given to the neighboring village in compensation for their sacred animal, which your father accidentally killed during his visit to that land. The woman was killed as an appeasement sacrifice, according to the, their tradition. When the woman was being taken out, she cried and cursed your father. She said that no male child shall be found in this palace. And that the kingship of Omongo will be taken away from your family. You were still tender when all this happened. The gods had her lamentation 
That is why your father never had any other son after you. Igwe, the gods are responsible for all those deaths in this palace. Thank you, Ezemo. Igwe. I know that it is only death that has no remedy. Is there nothing I can do to appease the gods? You have to bring one cow, hundred tubas of yam, two white local cock, seven cola nuts, two bottles of hot drinks, and one white cloth. There's a more. You may. I shall provide all what you have enumerated. Tomorrow, before dusk, they'll be in your shrine. Anu na buye wa mane nu Ude ude must this continue even after the sacrifice I made? This one died exactly as the others did. Why? You will. Mm -hmm. The gods have accepted your appeasement sacrifice and your family has been forgiven. But the gods maintain that the kingship of Omogo will no longer continue in your family lineage. Well, if the gods have forgiven me and insist the kinship must move, then they have not forgiven me. That's what it means. All right, so what happens next? From now onwards, you have to mount surveillance. The first male child to be born in Omongo on an Nkomake day will automatically become the prince. Take him and train him. That is the wish of the gods. Ezemo, tell the gods I am willing to make further appeasement. Tell them. I am sorry, Your Highness. The gods have made their decision. And no amount of sacrifice can make them change it. From this moment onwards, you have to mount surveillance. The first male child to be born in Umuko on an Nkomakit day will automatically become the prince of the land. Take him and train him as a prince. That is the wish of the gods and nothing. This is an insult to my person. This is a disgrace to me and whatever I represent. I can't understand this. Another man's son to become the prince 
and the heir to a throne in a community where I am the king. Why must the gods humiliate me in this way after my numerous services to the people of Omonkwo? Gods, this is unfair. This is not fair. This is not fair. Your Highness, let me take you to the chief priest in my village. He is a strong spiritualist. He will solve this problem for us. I thank you very much for your concern, but uh, that will not be necessary. Igwe, does that mean you accepted what the SMO said? as the wish of the gods? Not really. But you see, I have my own plan. And this is why I, I called two of you. This is something that will be known to only three of us. It will be a closely guarded secret. Hola, ma. Yes, Your Highness. We shall pretend that you're pregnant. Mm. That means that for the next nine months, your movement will be restricted. You'll be confined to the palace. Towards the end of your confinement, I will dispatch messengers to various parts of the community to be on the lookout for when and where a baby boy will be born. The moment that child is brought here, uh, that signals the end of your own confinement. I mean, you would have been delivered of your own baby boy. Uh, you will be his mother, and I, his father. He must not know what his true identity is, and we must all endeavor to keep it that way. I don't know whether this arrangement is acceptable to two of you. Yes, Your Highness. I thank you very much for your concern and cooperation. Thank you. Yes, come on. It's all I'm uh, Any problem? Your Highness, the messengers are back. They came back with them. The baby. Please sit down. Is it a boy or a girl? A baby boy. A boy? Yes, Highness. Mm. Good. Where are they? They are with the Chalugo. All right. Go and tell them I'm coming. Easy now. Oh. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> Last, a prince has been born in Omongo. He will be my son, and I shall be his father. I will raise him as the gods want me to. I thank you, gods. I thank you. I thank you. Fine boy. <laughs> mm, yeah. From which clan did you get him? From Mundago clan, your highness. I see. Did anybody see you? 
No, Your Highness. The baby was delivered in their home. Good job. Good job. I will arrange to have you adequately compensated. Hmm? Thank you, Your Highness. Yeah, we can go now. Uh, Alam. Yes, Your Highness. Time to remove that pregnancy. Hmm? Tomorrow I'll be announcing to the entire community that the Prince of Mungu has been born. <laughs> I'm not expecting twins. So. <laughs> yes, Your Highness. Uh, Ajalugum. Yes, Your Highness. The responsibility for raising this child will belong to two of you. But Alama remains the nursing mother. Doesn't this call for celebration? Oh, Olama, get me palm wine and dry meat. I will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me see how the gods will react to this. <laughs> The of our land will lead you. He says. He says. Now, take care of it. Remember, he is the future king of Omuko. Hmm? Okay. I will. Igwe. I will save you. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Joma. Bye-bye. Although we will accompany you to the airport. Yes, Your Highness. Bye-bye. So when I came back 25 years later, I saw that Ezenia had grown into a very good looking young man. And I was so proud to raise him as my own son. I decided to restrict his movement around the community because I was afraid he might run into somebody that would disclose 
his true identity to him. I thought that by doing so, I would proudly raise him as my own biological son without anybody knowing how I acquired him. I was wrong. I thought that by doing that, I would cheat the gods. I never knew I was fooling myself by thinking that nobody would find out. I took the gods for granted. And the day I thought would never come has come at last. I want to entreat all of you to show me some understanding as I talk to you. It was not my intention to do all I had to do, but I was helpless. I found myself a victim of circumstances I could not, on my own part, control. I apologize to you. As a near, for not revealing your true identity to you all this time you've been here. I apologize to you, I'm sorry. It was not my intention to carry on this way, but I couldn't help it. I just couldn't help it, I'm sorry. Your Highness. Yes. I want to ask one question. Go on. Are you telling us that that baby boy that was kidnapped by your messengers is Prince Ezra? Yes. Igwe, who are his parents? I stand before all of you and declare I am no more the prince of this land. What? Princess, my prince. Princess Zenia. What are you doing? He can go ahead and kidnap another baby who will be the prince. Now. How was I to know the man I've been calling my father is a wicked and heartless man? Tell them. Tell them how you sent your message a few weeks ago to the man you abducted his son. Tell them how they brought his house and his entire family missing up to today. Nemesis. Nemesis shall overtake you. I promise you that. It's okay, Mr. Zenia. It's okay. It's not okay. I am no one your prince, and I owe no one's apology. Excuse me. Hey, 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 hey. Igwe. Your Highness. Your Highness. Igwe. Your Highness. Igwe. Igwe. No. Igwe. Your Highness. You have one for the first. Igwe. What do you want from me? Please leave me alone. You have been lying to me all these years. You are not my mother. Thank God for Queen Achalugo. Who is your son? Who is your son? Listen, let me tell you. 
I give you and your husband 48 hours to tell me the word about my biological parents. I will report the case to the police. And bet me, I will make sure they deal with both of you dearly. Now leave my room. Leave! Please, I said leave! Please. Please leave. Don't to see any of you. Go! Take this. Get out. Out! Ah! Elders, I would like to see you outside. Hi, How is who? Eh? If you think I will not find out, eh? I tell you, if you think I will not find out, what are you talking eh? about? Eh? I don't even know what you're talking about. Hey! Liar! Now, nah, let me tell you. If anything happens to you, his blood will be on your head. Alam, have my cow. Jesse Bell, I'm here, Mr. Palan. Tell this man to leave me alone. Leave you where? Come back. I'm here, man. Alam, have my cow. You have to put 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 my cow. You Okay, so no, 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 You had not involved her in the arrangement. Mm. Look at how she has betrayed you. Mm.
Just let me be. I can't go on staying here. Ezenia, my way. What is going on here? No, yes, Oba, please talk to him. I don't know where he's taking his boxes to. Please, my prince. We are here to see you. Please. Oh no, what do people want from me again? I want to get out of this place. Please, my prince. Give us just 10 minutes. It's very important. All right, go on. Say whatever I want to say. I'm listening. Please, my prince. Let us see inside. Please, my, my prince. Let's stay outside here. And please make your discussion very brief. My prince, we are happy that you are now a grown up. And all of us here understand their feelings and how you feel about the whole situation. None of us will blame you for whatever action you might decide to take. But remember that it is the gods of the land that chose you to take over from Igwe Akwavo at the state. So calm down. Calm down to avoid disastrous mistakes. Um, as a near, what we are saying is that you should consider your decision to leave the palace. Because it is not the solution to what has happened. Biko, man, Biko. Eh? I know you got you. Please, we beg you. We, the elders of Omoko, will never deceive you. We will always tell you the truth. Elders of Umugwa, I hold nothing against any of you, but I want you to understand my condition. I do not doubt the decisions of the gods, but if you cannot tell me the whereabouts of my biological parents, it cannot work. So I will advise you to consult the gods for another choice. My prince, please calm down. Please, calm down. We all understand your situation. And we understand your mood and your feelings. Calm down. We want to make a request. Give us some time to make inquiries about the whereabouts of your parents, your biological parents. I assure you, we shall get back at you with positive information. Some time? Yes. Like one week, one month, one year, eternity. Is that what you mean? Give us one month. Just one month. You see, Akeka? Nice, nice, nice. Why did you know who make such a promise to the prince? Where on earth do you think we can find a crippled pan wine tapa? Where? You say, Ugokwe, I don't know what to say. Ah, ah. Only a woman have his own plans until we see him in the evening. What I'm saying is that there is no point beating about the bush. Why don't we open up and tell the young man that his biological parents died in the fire incident? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. You say, Ugokwe, are you sure? Yes. Didn't you hear that? Not even a single body was found inside the burnt house. What? Oh, does it mean that they were all burnt to ashes? Uh -oh. It is not possible. It is not. Ah. I think you are right. Ah. I think you are right. Uh, ah. Uno knows what he's doing. Maybe. Well, we shall see now. But, 
no, 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 What I'm talking about is the crippled and wine tapa. What are you going to do? <laughs> To be something, no one on anything can stop it. You, no one, no one, they will lie, they will deceive, chai, they will cheat, and some might even kill just to stop you from achieving your destiny. Hey, 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 hey,